Hey YouTube, uh, I'm going to do an unboxing on the brand new Refresh, they're calling it, as of uh, June 2020. It's currently July 2020, and just received this one in the mail. Uh, bought it off of blueparrot.com, um, their actual website for this. Uh, so this is the 45, 450 V450 XT, as you see, obviously. So they've updated a couple things, uh, specifically these are the new things for you. So USB-C charging instead of micro USB, uh, they've improved the size of the over ear cup and the uh, absorption or cushiness of it. It's also IPS4 uh, for water resistance and dust, things like that. So it's much better than it was. Uh, and what's happened, I think, is that Jabra purchased Blue Parrot for its noise cancellation benefits. I think they wanted to benefit on the Jabra line on the blue uh, noise cancellation that they're known for on Blue Parrot. Um, and so they've picked up, Blue Parrot has picked up some premium uh, business features, like the, uh, just some quality upgrades, I would say. Um, so I think that the uh, benefit of the relationship is that both products are probably going to get a little better. Uh, and since this has come out, the Evolve 2 is out for a headset, or the entire Evolve line, I should say, which has improved noise cancellation. Um, if you check my other videos, I actually have a, an Evolve 2 and a Talk 45 for Jabber as well. So you can see um, that information there. Uh, but with the Blue Parrot, 96% of background noise. Go and look at other YouTube tests for audio cancellation. And those are all the ones I've at least seen thus far are for the old 450. Uh, so can I, I can only imagine this one's going to be better. Uh, it's a full 24 hours of talk time. It's a full day of actual talk time. So the standby time is going to be insane. Uh, up to 300 feet. Um, basically, uh, my understanding is from line of sight uh, is where you'll get that. If you're in a house or some situation like that, it's probably going to be closer to uh, 50 to 100 feet, but that's still usually, unless you're in a really big house, that's going to do you very well. Uh, it does have NFC pairing, uh, Bluetooth. Uh, this is originally, uh, Bluetooth is very well known within the trucking industry, which is why the noise cancellation is so... Um, Robust, I think might be the right word choice. Um, but uh, does have a lot of things that I'm interested in for business purposes. So I'm actually lo looking to use this for making calls um, through a Bluetooth dialer in my computer for work, um, for making business calls. Uh, so I'm going to be testing this against uh, the Talk 45, the Jabra Evolve 65, the Evolve 265, I should say. Uh, just to kind of see how the noise quality is on this, because I do expect the noise cancellation to be absolutely second to none. I do expect where this is where it's going to really uh, outperform the Jabra, but I want to make sure that the um, the audio quality on the other end is as strong as it is on the Jabra. So I'll be doing some um, comparisons to that. Um, I'm going to take a picture of the UPC and model number, um, just so you can kind of get an idea. If you're seeing the two different models, you're going to see a discounted price on this model that is not the new one. The new one is the one you want. Uh, it's only got better features and the ability to update the software um, for a mobile app and things like that are different. Um, so let's go ahead and open this up. Cutaway tabs, they're really pull tabs, but with one hand, much easier doing it that way. Oh, and I've got one more. Okay. Okay, so that comes through here. There. Nice packaging. Oop, I have done so upside down. Okay, so everything out of the box. And let's see what we've got. Some little stays, so it stays in place of shipping. Let's get everything from that. 
So let's see what we've got. So you've got the USB-A to USB-C connection, uh, which is good. Everything I have in the house has been switching over to USB-C. So I'm very happy that they have made that improvement. Uh, you've got an extra ear cushion. Let's see. <laughs> uh, you've got a, this looks like a USB charger. It is USB car charger. This is small. It's very thin. I don't know if you can, that's going to translate here, but that's a USB end. And this is the car charger end. It feels like a jump drive as far as the size. That's interesting. Uh, and obviously the headset. Um, so volume up, volume, excuse me, volume up, volume down, power button, and then the blue parrot button. So you actually see it is a blue parrot. Uh, so my understanding is this is a one touch mute, but this is a button when you go online, you can actually change what its function could be. So you could have it do anything. Um, within reason, obviously. Um, but um, I'll go online and play with that. Feels very nice, actually. I expected it to be more chintzy or uh, not as nice as far as this does have a very premium feel to it. Um, this side does twist. Um, and the extension, extension is on one side. That is a fixed side. Um, this has a very, um, it's, it's hard plastic here. It's hard plastic here, but this whole center section is a very, um, uh, squishy rubber, but it is rubber. It's not a foam fill. So I assume it's rubber since it will have more elasticity over the long term. Um, and this is really nice and soft and feels very good. Uh, and then the microphone itself folds up and in. So as you're using it, you can just get it out of the way, you know, eating anything like that. I'm not sure if it auto microphone cancels when you pull it up or not, but that's it. Uh, obviously paperwork, books, read them. You should read them, but I'm not going to go into that on this.